Hi everyone, hope you are having a great day. Today we are going to Kurfa Khan. We'll be covering Sheesh Rest Area, Sheesh Park, Rufesa Dam, Waterfall, Amphitheater and Kurfa Khan Cornish. It's going to be a long day so stay with us. Our tea is here. We have taken our breakfast and we are on our way. Just one request, please hit the subscribe button to watch our upcoming videos. This is our first stop, the Sheesh Rest Area and it was a drive of about 1 hour and 30 minutes. This area is surrounded by mountains. It's very, very beautiful. You can just go there, walk and explore the markets. This is the nursery. Then they have fresh fruit market, restaurants, outdoor theater, play area for the kids. It's a very good spot. This area is on a higher altitude, so I'd suggest you keep your winter warm clothing with you. Also, don't forget to take your umbrellas because it rains here quite often. We were actually having a great time away from our busy city lives and we were exploring the entire area. This is the outdoor theater. Then these are the local shops. They have corn here, then you can get popcorns, they have amazing fresh fruits, toys for kids, small bakala shops, restaurants, They get you can buy Umani Halwa from here, it's one of the best. Also the watermelons and mangoes were amazing. You can also try them before buying, this is what we got, watermelon and corns. The area is actually close to Oman border and the play area was free of course, nestled among these mountains. It was a beautiful sight and my son was having a great time. The play area was very safe. Also there were slides, there were swings. After exploring the Shees Rest area, our next stop is Shees Park and um, it is also very very beautiful surrounded by the mountains in the wadi it's amazing nestled among these hajur mountains is the beautiful cheese park and this is the outside area there is a big mosque here and right now it's asar time Entry to the Shees Park is free. You can bring your own food and board games and enjoy like these people are doing. Uh, it's like a small picnic spot for you. There are lots and lots of green landscapes, beautiful flowers everywhere. You can take a lot of pictures like this spot is famous for taking pictures. Next, there is this covered play area. Also, there are shaded sitting areas here you can just enjoy with your family and while your kids can play here in the play area there are seesaw slides um, tunnels after playing in the play area we went up to climb the mountains that is a 506 meter walkway which has three levels which lead you to the main viewing deck and that's the top of the mountain from where you can enjoy the view of the entire area and its surroundings. Finally, after taking lots and lots of pictures on our way up to this viewing deck, this is the topmost point of the mountain. And finally, we reached here. This point is famous for viewing the sunset as well. However, we were getting late, so we moved to our next spot. That was the waterfall in the same park. It's a man-made waterfall and it flows directly into this beautiful lake that they have created. Each site in the park was just mind-blowing. The beautiful lake leads you to the barbecue area. So on the west side of the park, there is this barbecue area and these are the rules. Here you can bring your food, grill it. This is how you can use the barbecue pits. They are already available there. You just have to put your coal and your food and cook it. That's our stop number three, Rafesa Dam.
by the time we reached it was almost sunset time however i'd suggest that you reach there earlier because this is also a beautiful spot to explore and here you can enjoy the boat rides Entry to the Rufessa Dam is free of cost. However, the boat rides are charged. The kids play area is also there and that's also free. There is a small walking trail over there. Also, we reached here at around Maghrib time. So, we prayed our namaz. After offering our namaz, we came to this local ice cream shop. It is famous for its mini cones. They give five mini cones for 15 dirhams. And you can choose your flavors. That's how my set of cones looked. We got passion fruit, berry, mango, ferroche and another passion fruit. Now it was almost dinner time. The kids were hungry. So we stopped at this beautiful cafe. It's my favorite at Kurfa Khan. It's called Lilak Cafe and it is beautiful everything is so pretty here since i was not in a mood to have seafood we ordered margarita pizza and chicken fajita pizza while across the street there are fresh seafood restaurants and my husband wanted to have those so he got these fresh fishes and prawns after stuffing our stomachs with lots of food we went to the streets of kurfa khan for a drive this is the amphitheater at kurfa khan and this is the famous man-made waterfall that's how it looks you can stop over take pictures here next to the amphitheater is a garden you can go there and enjoy relax now that's the kurfa khan cornish this is also my new favorite spot you can sit by the beach and have some coffee and relax they have kept tables and chairs over there this place was like a smaller mini version of the city walk it was beautiful there were lots and lots of restaurants here the play area here however was charged and i think they were charging 10 dirhams for per child and that's how the place was looking it was beautifully lighted it was about 10 p.m we decided to leave for home now the kids were very tired it was a long day but it's totally worth it kurfa khan is one of my favorite outdoor destinations in uae it has lots and lots of picnic spots away from your busy city life this is the perfect getaway destination where you and your kids and your family can make memories don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon thank you so much for watching hope you have a great day